and he was strong, but he didn't know what it was to be frightened. All of his friends said to him, you don't know what it is to be scared. And the boy said, no. What did he say? The boy said, no. I don't know Surely what it looks how like. How really got ready? Like yeah! <laughs> and nobody looked after the cow. Now, the next day, the woman stretched it with me. <laughs> she said, um, come and help me to look after the sheep. See it. Come and help me to look after the sheep. has given us so many good answers. Can you come and take something out the bag for me, please? Here we go. I don't know what's in the bag, so put your hand in. Take something out for me, please. Take something out. Take something out. Throw it here. And in the bag, a smile on her face, she was so happy that she'd done so many terrible things. And on this hot summer's afternoon, she could see there was an old woman sitting by the edge of the city, combing at her hair. This old woman's hair was not as beautiful as hers, was not as long as hers. The girl, as she ran, stopped and said, Old woman, why'd you comb at your hair? Why'd you bother? Nobody's going to be looking at you. It's very good to see you. Uh, I do come from England, and what I've got here is a map of England up here. And what you've got is this map of England. And if you think of England like our bodies, at the top you have got Scotland. Everybody do that. Do us. Do this with me. Scotland. Ready? One, two, three. Scotland. And underneath Scotland, you have England. What do you have? England. At the side, you've got Wales. Do that with me. And Wales. when I was a teacher, I used to use my hands. Everybody wiggle your fingers like this. Do the same as me. Okay? So, wiggle your fingers over here. Wiggle them over there. Wiggle them up. Wiggle them down. Touch your ear. Touch your other ear. Gold. Gold. Silver. Silver. A fish. You are very good. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, a scutcheon. Now, touch one here. All right. I've got two helpers. Right. This is my banjo. Can you tap on there? What does that sound one, like? Everybody, one, two, three magic wishes. Do that with me. Three magic wishes. So we stepped in the mud. <laughs> 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 and he grabbed hold of the woman. Do it now. He grabbed hold of the woman and he pulled. You ready? And he pulled. And he pulled, and he pulled her out of the mud and he fell in the mud with a great big splash. You can do that with me. Ready? Great big splash. I haven't done it yet. Great big. <laughs> a great big. <laughs> a great big moment. A great big splash! And he had mud in his hair. Ugh. You do it. Mud in his hair. Ugh. He had mud in his ears. Ugh. He had mud in his pockets. Six hours to drive from there to there, but I think my assistant deserves a big round of applause. Applause! <laughs> okay, so we now know there is because uh, oh, a monster. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm going to tell you a story, but when I tell the story, I don't expect his own dead wife, and he was sad. Aww. He was so sincere. He was so sad, and he took to his bed, and he lay there, and everyone was frightened. Everyone was sad. They wanted to be able to see the king. And when they couldn't see the king, they were frightened and they knocked upon his door. Put yeah, hands all like kinds this. of different jobs. But this is the job I've got to tell you that I like the most. 
It's the most interesting job. It's also given me a chance to travel throughout the whole of England and Britain and Scotland and Ireland, but also to come to South America. I think as a bricklayer or as a, um, somebody who worked in a bar, I would never have ever gone to uh, Santiago or to Valparaiso or to Vigna. So it's, it's a very interesting job, this one. I like this one, but I've had hundreds of jobs, really. Yes, yes. I work in a garage, yes? Shiny and scaly. And there were two eyes, two round eyes that were golden, and a mouth that smiled, and she looked down, and there was a child lying upon her stomach, and she looked at it with its hard, shining, scaly skin, a smiling mouth and round golden eyes, and in the mouth there was a tongue. But the tongue was long and thin, black and forked. For the child that she had in her arms was like a snake. Can you make a snake with me? It was like a snake. And she looked at it. And she held it in her arms. She looked at it and went, Oh, you are the most beautiful child in all of this world. And I shall name you Kahili Hilly. frightened. Which means, and in the darkness, by the light of the moon, he heard a great and a terrible scream. Ah! <laughs> 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 okay, right down to the bottom of the sea, and no one saw the king again. The queen said, Please stop. Please stop. And he did stop playing. And I know what you think I'm going to say, but I'm not. The Queen and Lars did not get married. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> did not get married, but any time that she wanted him to play music, he would sit down by her side and he would play. Clap your hands, clap. 